welcome to my vlog! Uh, this is always a weird thing. I have no idea how to start a vlog, but I'll, I'm, I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. There will be a lot of clips of me doing a puzzle, or my progress of a jigsaw puzzle, at least, and a couple of other clips. And <laughs> tips and tricks to how to vlog, please let me know. And here's my vlog of the day. Or not just one day, trust me. It's been many days to make this happen. I realized something after I had done this puzzle. And that was that even though I put this one in plastic bags, all the pieces when I was done, that was not the case with all my other puzzles. And sure, my parents are borrowing some puzzles. This is the one I just showed. Uh, these I have also done and put in plastic bags. And by that, I mean putting it in plastic bags so if I move the boxes and the lid comes off, the pieces won't just fall everywhere. They will stay together and the chance of losing pieces will be a lot smaller. And putting on a lid with only one hand is impossible. Give me a moment. This puzzle, for instance, I used the lid here when I did the other puzzle. These pieces are just... I mean, if the top comes off, all the puzzle pieces are gonna be everywhere unless I'm careful. So, I'm gonna do a thing where I do the puzzle and when I put it away, because I want to make sure no pieces are missing. And then I will put it in box or put it in plastic bags in the box. And here is my stack of puzzles, which are not put in plastic bags inside the boxes. They are all kind of like free-flowing puzzle pieces in the boxes, like this. So I'm gonna do all these puzzles make sure all the pieces are there and then I will put them in plastic bags because I am hoping that one day very soon I will find a house to buy and I will move so it's kind of smart of me to get this ready you know to the big move whatever that may be I just have to find a place to buy first so yeah uh, there's a lot of puzzles too and also it takes a while, apparently, to find a home to buy. Wish me luck on that one. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get a little obsessed. So I started this puzzle again, because why not? And I decided instead of doing like I did the first time I did it, which was do the edge and then separate the colors and try to do them little by little, I decided to try to start with the grid. I'm missing some of the grid pieces. They're in there, guaranteed. But I can't help it. I think it looks pretty cool. The unfortunate thing about being this obsessed about doing a puzzle is that my kitchen, because I do not have a dishwasher, gets really messy. So. I should probably do this before I continue the puzzle. Luckily for you, you don't have to watch it. I just have to do it. You do get to see a nice clean result. And the puzzling continues. I've done more of the grid and I've sorted almost everything. Not sure where these would go, but I've made piles. I believe these pieces will go in this little square and I mean this one has more pieces this one has a lot more pieces than fits but because I mean because some of these like the top corner there and that one has the same flower that picture that picture and that picture same flower, just, you know, the different sizes and where they are. So, some places have a lot. I had to start to put that one in a new one, but 
you know. Now I can do them square by square. Never tried that before, so that'll be interesting. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind. I don't think it's that bad right here. But I was going to go for a walk and take you along with me and have a chat. But as you can see, it's uh, rather icy. So I'm kind of, whoo, gosh, uh, kind of trying to be careful and not fall on my face or my ass and, you know, squish my camera and be in pain and all, but I might have to have a chat with you when I get home. I mean, this feels dangerous. But there is, I don't know if you can see it, but there are parts where there are less ice. So maybe, I'm gonna have a try, but you might just see some footage and not hear me talking. Because this is not the easiest way to walk. Look at all that ice. It's supposed to be winter, but it feels more like spring. I mean, winter equals snow. Lots of snow. This, I can hear the birds singing. I don't know if you can. Mm, the ice, there is a lot of ice. It's melting and being very icy, so walking is, uh, well, let's just say I rather honestly kind of pay attention to the walking than the filming. There is one short path that I know right here that is mostly without the ice. But it's also very windy, so I don't know if you can hear me or not. But at least I have a tiny bit where I can walk normally and not be terrified of, you know, pain because of falling one way or another. This is such a fa fascinating thing, trying to walk and talk at the same time. Or, walk and talk is fine, but like... <laughs> trying to make sure my face is in frame <laughs> is really hard. Uh, so yeah, it's supposed to be winter. Well, technically it is winter, obviously. It's just no snow. But I do live by the coast, so there's always been less snow here than where I grew up. Which is not really that far from here. I am doing a lot of thinking these days because I want to move. I want a homestead. Uh, due to financial reasons, that is a little hard. But I still want a house. A different type of house than what I currently have. Uh, so right now, I may have found it. I don't think I found the one, but I am... That was a loud bird. Uh, I am considering whether I will go and look at the house that I have found online because that's where you found it. You find everything these days. And I don't know if you can hear me over the wind. It's a lot of wind. And I don't have anything to kind of hinder that when it comes to my camera. But yeah, I'm considering to go look at a house. I don't know if I like it. I mean, it looks pretty, but it's not really what I want. But I repeat, financial reasons, don't think I'll be able to get what I, exactly what I want right away. Anyway, the thing about filming outside, <laughs> it's like, what if people see me? <laughs> it's such a, yeah, it, I, I'd feel so cringe. Um, but yeah, I am considering to go look at a house. I may or may not get it. drive from where I live, I think. And so I don't know. I mean, I like living close to my parents, but I never felt like a true adult, which is kind of weird considering how old I am. Uh, 
but I mean if if I have a problem I just call my dad and he comes and fix it so uh, the feeling like an adult part I don't know maybe try that out for once that would probably be a good idea <laughs> but yeah I'm there's a field there there's a tiny bit of forest which showed you last time they've been cutting down some trees uh, sometimes that is needed you know maintenance of a forest it's very needed I'm very glad that this place have not been clear-cut because that would be sad I mean I get chopping down trees for firewoods and furniture and things that are needed but just to clear out a space no but I like the woods so there's that I didn't have much else to say at the moment because I'm mostly thinking about whether I should go look at the house or not and will I want to buy it I don't know it's such a big decision I mean a house costs a lot of money uh, so yeah it's a hard decision now ooh, hello there is sun today which is part of the reason why I wanted to be outside because it's a beautiful weather sure a lot of wind but it's so nice outside it's not even all that cold I mean wind always makes it a tiny bit colder but I have put on a lot of clothes so <laughs> I'm actually rather warm so there is that too uh, I feel like I'm all over the place but and also my arm I'm not used to walking with my arms out, arm out stretched holding a camera so I'll talk to you more inside in my own house or at least in my current house we'll see if I get a new one soon fingers crossed I am almost done with the puzzle and what I did was make most of the grid and then I sorted the pieces so they were hopefully in somewhat of the right square some of these like these three and this one and a few others were well that was all mixed even though I tried to separate it but this is the last one and then it was done it took a surprisingly short amount of time sure it took many many hours I didn't time myself so I don't know how many but since I first did the edge and then I did the grid system and then I did sorting and put it all together it was just all the little squares that I had to put together and I really enjoyed doing this puzzle this way and it took way less time as I said than what I thought it would so now I just have to put it in plastic bags put it in the box put the lid on and then it goes in the closet doesn't that look cool I mean I took the edge and uh, what would I call it the grid I took that off and now I'm just left with a bunch of tiny little not puzzles I mean it's a whole puzzle not just a tiny little puzzle but like all the gifs all the different flowers basically I don't know what kind of flowers these different flowers are I like them but I don't know what kind of flowers they are but I mean it looks so cool and it's really hard to show everything on camera but it looks really cool I have to say it does look cooler in reality than on camera the house I talked about earlier that I considered going to see I didn't go because it was a three more than a three hour drive one way which means a total of more than six hours so basically a full day of driving um, back and forth to look at that house and I looked more into it and I realized that even if I did go and see it I wouldn't buy it it wouldn't be my house so it felt like a waste of time and also a waste of money because you know when you drive for more than six hours at least I don't know for other people but at least my car wouldn't want gas 
and that costs money. And gas is not cheap these days. And also, even though I like driving, I mean, it's not all that kind to nature to drive for that many hours. Kind of quite pointless. So yeah, I decided to not go and look at the house. I'm a little bummed about it because I really want a house. And yes, I technically have a house, but it's not it's not where I want to be. Which is kind of annoying because I mean, my house, I love the layout of the house. I I like the location. I mean, I'm close to pretty much everything, but not in the middle of anything except my neighborhood. I have kind neighbors. I just I'm not built for living this close, which is pretty much on top of my neighbors. So even though they're nice people, I'm not built for it. And why would I subject other people to me when I'm not built for something? That's not very nice. So I need a little bit more space. Not necessarily house itself, but like the space outside. Uh, which is probably why I would love, love to have a homestead or a farm. Not that I would live off the farm, I would have an off farm or off home what do you call it? Either way, I would not necessarily work from home because I, you know, I need a job to get money. And that's not a thing why I didn't go look at that house because, as I said, gas is expensive and I am saving as much as I possibly can because houses are expensive. And I really want one, so I need to be able to, you know, fork up the money. So there is that, did not go see the house. Uh, have been doing a lot of puzzling lately, jigsaw puzzles. I am currently very, very, very obsessed. Which, in many ways, is great. I mean, I'm currently doing puzzles I already have. So I'm not buying new ones. And yes, I know I bought new ones last year. But, you know, that, that was last year. Uh, <laughs> But, yeah, but I'm doing my jigsaw puzzles that I already have, so I'm not spending money on that. And I drink tea. I definitely spend money on tea. I love tea. Never been a fan of coffee. It's, yeah, coffee is not my thing. Tea, however, I like tea. There's also a lot of other things I like. Plants, growing things, which is part of the reason why I want a homestead, so I can grow stuff, green stuff, edible stuff, pretty stuff, and I have space to just go nuts. Uh, I'm so excited, I'm so looking forward to that. But as I said, I need to find my house first. That's taking some time, apparently. Which is a little sad, but I have faith that I will find it. Because I'm gonna go nuts if I stay here, and we don't want that to happen. I went for a walk earlier today, and it was so beautiful outside. Sun was si shining, the birds were super happy and excited, and oh, I just love nature. I don't really love it if spiders are crawling on me, but I love nature. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I couldn't live without it, literally. Yet another reason I would like a homestead, to be closer to nature. And that is one of my 
one of my, maybe my only, not, not necessarily my only, but one of my definite, definite big goals is to own a homestead. I don't think the house I buy, hopefully really soon, fingers crossed, uh, I don't think that will be a homestead because money, but also finding the right one might be a little hard. I've been looking for a while and I'm struggling to find anything. That sucks. But you know, eventually I'll figure it out. I'll find it. Please wish me luck. <laughs> Apparently I need that. Uh, jeez. I don't think I have completely like nailed down how to vlog, but I'm working on it. I'm figuring it out. It's always a bit like, what do I film? I want to film. This is fun. Will it be fun to watch? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, and I don't have like Netflix or HBO or anything at the moment, but I'm currently watching Charmed. The, the original, I know there's made, been a new one, been made a new one, is that how you say it? Uh, I haven't seen that one. I don't know where it is online. Uh, but I'm currently watching Charmed and I'm enjoying the heck out of myself. It's so much fun. Uh, and I obviously watch a lot of YouTube. Because what else are you supposed to do? And I, I know, I know, a lot of people have like different streaming services like Netflix and HBO. I think those are the two kind of big ones where I live at least. But I have had Netflix in the past. And when I asked my friend if I were to get either Netflix or HBO, she said Netflix. And then I tried to look into it a little bit about what was on their platforms, at least currently. And out of the shows that I know and would have liked to re-watch, most of them were on HBO, so I don't know. At the same time, as I mentioned, I'm trying to save all my monies to be able to buy a house, so maybe continue just watching YouTube and not spend money even on a streaming service because there's a ton of interesting stuff on YouTube. You can learn a lot, you can be very entertained. And then there is my channel, which, I mean, I don't watch my own channel, I just make the videos and have fun with that, but there's so many YouTube videos that I want to watch and there's never enough time. So, do you have the same problem? Like, there's too much to watch and you don't have time? And what do you do? Do you have any good tips and tricks? And I need it, obviously. And I apologize if I sometimes talk too fast. I'm working on it. I know I talk fast sometimes. I kind of like eat half my words so you only get part of it. I mean, I have clips that I've filmed and intending to put on a video, or put in a video, put in a video, that I just have to, you know, cut out because my, um, my pronunciation in English is one thing, but how fast I talk, sometimes when I edit, I have to stop and like rewind, like, what was I saying? I have no idea what I just said, so I have to cut that part out. <laughs> so yeah, the the interesting part of filming yourself and realizing all the weird things you do when you talk and with the face. I have some facial expressions that not all of them get to be on camera. <laughs> some of them I cut out, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a fascinating thing and as I said, I know I talk fast sometimes so I'm trying to work on it. That kind of goes for other things too. I'm either 
on or I'm off. I either go full speed or there is no speed at all whatsoever. So I kind of need to, I'm working on learning how to balance that. So if you got any tips, please let me know because I, I don't have like a, uh, I don't even know what you would call it. I mean, oftentimes people have an on and off switch. That is okay. I have that too. But when people are on, or at least as far as I can tell, a lot of people, they can be on, but they can be on level one, two, and three when it comes to energy. Where level three is like full speed. And they, they are capable of functioning even at level one and two. I'm either off or am I on level three? when it comes to energy and then I mean I have a limited amount of energy so when my energy is used up I'm going to off instead of like going slowly on level one or a level two which would have been so much more efficient because I would need less breaks that would be great so if you have any tips to like how to help me balance my speed I guess let me know down in the comment section. Oh my god, you're gonna have so many questions to answer. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. You tell me. I'm, after all, I'm just making the videos and then you're watching them. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Every time someone either subscribes or likes a video or make a comment or view I mean there are people that just view videos and don't do any of the other things and that's okay I have a lot of videos that I've only watched and never interacted anything more with but every time I see the number go up I enjoy myself I like numbers so Hence, occasionally mentioning money, because I like money, and I like my money number to go up. So there is that. Um, yeah, that was my uh, chit-chat for the day. And if you watched all the way till now, I just want to say thank you. And uh, you know what? Let's have a code word. If you actually got through all the way here, write the word charmed in the comment section. <laughs> just, just for fun, or for me, or for yourself. Let's be honest, it'll be mostly for me. So if you want to make me happy, <laughs> write the word charmed down in the comment section. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!